Oh, hello everyone and welcome to the next raid event right here in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. On the screen right now, you can see all of the rewards available from this raid. I'm actually really happy this raid is uh, this raid's back. It's against Golden Grey Tape, Super Baby Vegeta. Oh yes, it is. So there's a few Super Souls here. One of the Super Souls, the Instant Transmission one, was available in last week's raid. I'll mention that in a moment because that's the, not the first time this specific Super Soul has done that. But the main reason I think well, you should do this is because of this Super Soul right here. Let's see you handle this kind of power. Great 8 Baby Super Soul, while Giant, so while you're using Become Giant on a Namekian, it boosts the strength of all of your attacks by a large amount, so it's not an extra large or an extra extra large, just a large amount, very respectable, don't get me wrong, and it activates key auto recovery for a giant uh, Namekian, that is, that's perfect, that's great. Do this raid for no other reason other than this, again, you've seen all the rewards that were available, so 50,000 points to get everything, 100,000 points gives you nothing, but... Oh, wow, this raid only started. Well, actually, it says it started at 7 p.m. for me, but I logged in at 7 p.m. and waited, and it wasn't available, whatever. But it's been available for, like, even if it's been available since then, it's been available for me for about two hours, just under, and it's almost max level. Because this is one of the easier raids. Like, you can easily get 50,000 points on this. I, I'll be surprised if it's going to take me more than two runs. Final Explosion might actually work quite well, depending on, well it will because you can break your stamina, so this might be a raid where Final Explosion is the play. You also get, as you sort of start, the full golden grey tape outfit, shout out to Deoxys, welcome back, but you can get the full golden grey tape outfit from the crystal raid mode, so that's a bit whatever, so do keep that in mind there. I'll be back momentarily when we have a full team. Okay, so... Not a full team, someone else did join, but it was a one bar connection and the name sounded Japanese. So I don't know if this is available in Japan. I think it probably would be because I get it a little bit sooner and I get it in the UK before the US. I think in the US it's it unlocks at 11 p.m. Eastern. Look, just check back tomorrow. You've got a week to do it. So yeah, uh, the Super Soul. The, okay, so the last time this raid was available was the 20th of February, 2023. So right now it's the 2nd of May, 2024. So it's following the theme of just under, or give or take, a year and a half before it returns. So undoubtedly, next time this raid returns should probably be after the release of the upcoming Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. So yeah, uh, right there, I'll go for Final Explosion. Either, oh, he's uh, stamps coming quite quick, but it should actually make it slow. Yeah, rather nice. Oh, don't go for the grab. Oh, why would you go for the grab? Come on, that's such like a new player thing. And if the person who went for it, to be fair, it could have been the computer. Oh no, yeah, he's got the uh, brainwash attack. So, thank you. So you do, oh wow, so you do have to be careful about that. Uh, but give it a little bit and another 17 seconds until it, the timer hits four. Oh no. Uh, and the Super Soul will kick in and we will be able to just absolutely destroy him via... Do you know what? What I might do right now, Emperor's Death Beam, fantastic. Oh, by the time his stamina, well, by the time I've used it, his stamina will recharge. And, oh yeah, Deoxys got it as well. Again, I still can't remember if this Super Soul stacks, but... <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'm going to... I'll leave it burst. Actually, I'll... Oh, okay, perfect. I was going to say I'll leave it burst. Momentarily. Now, this final explosion here might actually do probably about 30,000 total damage on in terms of the scoreboard. Final Explosion, as of right now, is the strongest attack for custom characters in Xenoverse 2. I am going to guess, I'm going to call it early now, I've got at least 50,000 points from this raid. Easily. <laughs> easily. Easily. Now, we've got another Final Explosion, but I need all my stamina to recharge. Oh, Peer the Storm. Oh, cool. That's why I've got Punisher Guard. Oh! <laughs> Do you know what? Let's try and risk the, uh, do it right there, just to break his guard. Oh, someone's done it. Yeah, final explosion is so easy for this raid. Just wait till his stamina gets broken. Oh, who let, who's running gigantic roar? Oh, why would you run that on this raid? That's the, that's so, it's dumb. 
No offense to the guy. Who is it? I, I want to make sure I don't I, like. I kick him if he comes back, just because again, no, no offense, but it's like this is like this is the easiest raid to get points. It just is. Like, do you know what I mean? They got Deoxys. Welcome back. Oh, <laughs> shoot. Okay. Uh, okay, that's so annoying. Again, for this raid, just wait till. Okay, it's the Fiocious uh, Deity. The name's familiar. Maybe he's joined before and he's done that. If so, that's really funny that I've not remembered. <laughs> but man, what a shame. What an absolute shame. And while you're going for Innocent's Bullet, which poisons the opponent, I don't know. Final explosion, dude. Final explosion. You can't mess it up. Just hold down the input. Just do it. Oh, come on. Oh, boom. Back down. If you don't know, it didn't happen then. Skills that you should not run in raids are, as you just saw, one of them, the main one you should not run is the gigantic raw ultimate. That's because it gives the opponent iframes. Therefore, yeah, okay, it's the computer that's going for the grab. Fair enough. Therefore, it's just going to make it much harder and longer. Pause. What? <laughs> to uh, do damage. Other skills, even though it wouldn't work in raids, are skills that trap the opponent into a cutscene, such as the kick version of Special Beam Cannon, Beast. Oh, 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 there you go. As well as Spirit Sword, as well as Divine Lasso, uh, Circle Flash, even though, again, those will not work in uh, against giant characters. Yeah, I absolutely should just should have waited for there to be f a full team. I mean, look at this. We're just tearing through the raid boss. It's not even slightly a challenge. Look, I, look, I know for a fact I've got at least uh, 50,000 points from this run. And if I don't, I'll be really surprised. I really will. Yeah, I was, I was just going to say, he should have gigantic key blast. That's why I've got thought on swipe. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, boom, send it back. Yeah, that's, that's going to give me a ton more points as well. That's why I run Fault on Swipe on my raid build in case they have that attack. Oh, 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 oh. Even before you could get back up, back down. Uh, yeah, you just saw the damage. Yeah, the, you, you, like, rewind that. That's the perfect example where you shouldn't run Gigantic Raw because it temporarily stopped the damage from being received. What a shame. Again, if you don't know, you don't know. But, man, when, like, when was Gigantic Raw added? And I might say Gigantic Rage once the... Uh, one of them is the super attacks or whatever. But uh, it's been in the game since the end of 2018. We're in like the middle of 2024 now. People should know this. If you don't, whatever. Oh, last fi final one. Can I do it? Come on, come on. Oh, nice. Okay. Wow. <laughs> ah, dusty. Rather nice. Rather nice. Rather nice. Oh, wow, that was exhausting. <laughs> Just how much damage you could do. It's been a while since I've done proper final explosion damage. Yeah, I mean, I've shout out to Deoxys for getting like, oh, he's running a female sign, so it makes sense, right? Yeah, I'll check the scoreboard and see how many points we got. Uh, and I'll, depending on how many points we got, I'll load into Burkhold, my freezer character, to show you the build I'm using. And then we'll get the last week's reward, then continue with this raid until we get 50,000 points, or depending on how many points we've got just, until we get 100,000 points. Okay, then we just go and approach menacingly, oh, is that Mario? <laughs> approach menacingly the school board in Canton City. This is how many points we've got. Again, if the raid's not available for you, as of you watching this, it'll be available at least tomorrow, so just check back tomorrow. Dude, look, yeah, like I said, like I've te technically, the video could end now. It's not going to, but technically I've got, like I'm done with this right now, but because we've got 65,000 points, I will go and do it once more. Once I show off the build and get the last week's reward, just to get 100,000 points, just because, well, we ca I can, right? Like it's so easy. Just run final explosion. I'll show the build momentarily. Greetings. Time, space, delivery from the la last week's uh, raid against a cyber man. So this superstar here, the your time in this fight ends now, which gives you a small amount of key back when you use instant transmission, which is somewhat useful. It's a gimmick. It feels like, once again, it's been added for the sake of being added rather than because it's actually somewhat useful. I have done a Super Saiyan Blue Evolution build a few years ago. I may update it using this super solo, however. Um, but it's, it's a case of it's kind of whatever, but it's available in this raid again. 
the, it happened back in the start of 2023 with those two raids. It's obviously a mistake on their end that they're not bothered fixing. I wish they did it with more stuff like the Akari wig. But that said, they'll be loading to Burkhold and show you once again the build. Okay, rather nice. So I have different color settings on the PvP version. Player versus player versus player is for me to say. And the PvE version, player versus environment, as in raids, payload quests, expert missions. There's a super soft on my main one. I need to update Burkhold so bad as well as be getting Okak and even Kingsman. All of my characters, to be honest, especially Grumbosh as well. And I'm planning on probably doing that when the new update comes out. I'm gonna probably replace Super Key Explosion with Fake Blast on Burkhold because of how often I use it. It's, it's such a good evasive. We'll have to see what happens, if there's gonna be like a skill patch, what have you. But the color settings on Burkhold's PVP settings are this, it's this pink here and that black there. And then it's the same pink and black for where it's pink and black. Okay, pause to read, blah, blah, blah. Okay, there we go. And quickly equip the preset I've just been using. Uh, and if you want to know the color settings on this, it's just this purple across the board. And then the other settings, which you can't change unless you summon Shenron, I will go over in just a moment. So this soup style I'm using, well, firstly, to make this QQ bang as usual, mix the DBZ Bardock top with the Beerus top and use a super mixed capsule Z as the mixing item. And yes, you guessed it, eventually you'll get this exact QQ bang. If not one slightly better, as in with plus five instead of plus four points in basic attacks. So it's crazy. Burkhold can be even stronger if I just absolutely fully optimize him. Now, Freezer Race characters have the lowest, or I, I don't know if it's the lowest, but they have really, really, really bad strike damage. So that can, in theory, be minus five, and it's not going to affect us at all. Even if you run like a super overpowered, super armor, one hit KO build, and use Lovely Cyclone to prolong the effect, which is a strike skill, it doesn't matter because I use that just as the direct to increase the duration, right? Don't worry about it. They also have naturally lower health, like Saint, so that can be plus minus five as well. But if I had plus five in key stamina, basic attacks and key skills, I would love to have plus five negative in strike supers and plus three, which is the maximum. Plus, plus 23, as of right now, is the best QQ bang you can have. Uh, I'd rather have plus three in, he um, in health. Just a bit of an explanation there. This Super Soul, you get this from a raid, and unfortunately, the raid happened a few weeks ago, a couple of months ago, against the Masked Saint, which just so happens to look like Bardock. Wow, what a coincidence. Yeah, after 60 seconds starts, well, after 60 seconds in the match, um, it says a short time, but it's 60 seconds a minute, right? Whatever. It boosts all of your, as in you, the player, your teammates and the opponents damage all of your damage by an extra, extra large amount. And the limit burst is attack increase. Now, if you don't have this Super Soul, a replacement Super Soul is the before, no, no, it's not. It's uh, the I've cast aside everything for this, which does the same, but it only gives you the damage increase, but it does give you a medium reduction in movement speed. Uh, key regen, which you've got a charge skill, that's not important, and stamina recovery, and the limit burst is defense increase, and, well, super armor. You get this from a DLC payload quest from Legendary Pack 1. I'll show you what it is right now. Oh, yes, I always do that. Well, save, equip, whatever. You get this from a Legendary Pack 1 DLC, payload quest 145. It's a decent drop rate. I forget who drops it, but it's right here. Payload quest 145. Did I say 43 a little bit ago? Whatever. 145. I've cast aside everything for this. You guys know the deal. Rather nice. And if you don't have either of those, run a... I would suggest just running a key build for raids and just use the before creation comes ruined Beerus Super Soul, which gives you a large increase to your key skills 30 seconds after the battle starts. But apart from that, run wherever you want. That, that, this is just the best build that I can think of for raids. Let's summon Shenron so you can see how to recreate this character exactly should you wish to do so one moment. Did, did my voice break then? <laughs> one moment. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, don't, you don't need to be so rude about it, Shenron. I oh, we dropped a gorgeous, rather nice wish. voice. Is voice 10. Oh, yes, it is. Just spamming that. Here's the appearance creation settings. Again, do feel free to pause to read, screenshot, what have you. 
I think I'm gonna probably keep Burkhold the way he looks, at least for a very, very, very long time. Like with the black and pink and purple color scheme with the Super Saiyan Rose wig. I just love how it looks. And the colors here, it's that black, gray, whatever in the top left, and this pink for the skin tone, and the eye is the same pink, but it's in a different location, the bottom right, right there. And as I was just shown earlier, for the it's, it's that pink and that black. Well, if you guys, I did it earlier, rewind the video. And again, there's the appearance settings. So I'll be back in just perhaps a few moments, well, a few minutes as I lo reload the game. So I keep the Dragon Ball so I can redo it or use it whenever I want again. <laughs> We're having to collect them. And I'll be back once we now actually have a full team to just finish off this raid to get 100, a thousand points. Oh, shout out to Omega Shenron. Bit of a random character to use. At least he doesn't have a gigantic roar. <laughs> okay, full lobby now for the second run. Yeah, uh, easily going to get over 100,000 points, quite possibly at least 130 thousand points just because again we've got 65,000 just so double that is going to be 120 again we've got a full team now so the computer won't use grabs when the stand is broken it's just going to be easy to get 100,000 points wait for it yeah first final explosion of many in this raid oh <laughs> now you could if you really wanted to also run meditation with revenge death ball but again as of right now final explosion strongest attack for custom characters in the game but as you just saw just you do have to be careful for that right there with the uh yeah you know, where you get your stamina broken oh boom do i have enough time to go for another final explosion yes i do okay so that's why before the super soul kicks in in just well in seven seconds right now Oh, rather nice. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. So if he hits me there, perfect. I have time to get sent back. Stamina reset. Don't let me burst yet, Deoxys. Just let me uh, get my... Perfect. Awesome. Oh, oh okay. Uh, didn't have enough time. I, I might have enough time to get my stamina back. Boom. Yeah, okay. So this limit burst final explosion, max stamina, it's just gonna do so much damage. Look at that, just absolutely tearing through him. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's gone for the jack at the key blast. No, oh, ah, what? Oh, Deoxys, please, wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow, he, he really didn't like that final explosion, did he? No, he did not. <laughs> yeah, pop a regen for everyone. Wow, man. So yeah, just be careful with that. Jeez. But when you got the final explosion, it's going to smack it slow for the stamina to recharge. Oh, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, and destroying his stamina again. <laughs> yeah. I think now that's probably put me to over, or just over, 100,000 total points. Rather nice. Oh, yes. Might as well just go for the uh, Emperor's Death Beam there to break his stamina again. <laughs> just stay down, bro. <laughs> Make it easier for everyone. So because of that, maybe Burst Charge will be a bit better to use because Burst Charge will cover uh, key faster for the first couple of bars, then he'll stop. Oh, well, okay. The hell would just break his stamina. Oh! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Max, might as well get max key at this point. He might go for the uh, gigantic key blast now, actually, would he? Nope. Boom. Okay. Oh, the first and only one so far to miss. Do you know what? I might... Why did I drop out of the Awoken? Misclick, maybe. Yeah, I might as well go for Stamina Reset and just spam... Well, go for Emperor's Death Beam. Look, I know at this point I've already got at least 100,000 total points. And we'll confirm it in a moment via the scoreboard in Content City. But yeah, uh, rather nice. Any moment now, I would assume it's the gigantic uh, Key Blast we'll go for. Yeah, easy. <laughs> I don't know if you can go for anything while he's stunned like that. I mean, whatever. 
Yeah. He's at, yeah, Deoxy went final explosion as well. I don't know if that GLB guy is AFK. I'm not entirely sure. Now, also going for the grab then may have been a little bit smart because... Actually, no. I was thinking sometimes you can. Sometimes it can be smart to go for the grab when the stamina is about to recharge. So you do stamina damage when that stamina's back. But just, like, Benny coming at me out. Done. Duh, he's not having a... He's, he's just not having a good day, is he? No, he absolutely is. Okay, so going for the grab there, it's, it's, it's a bit dumb, right? But again, if you don't know, you don't know. But I mean, why would you do that? You know what I mean? <laughs> ah, okay. Me and Jock, just getting floored. <laughs> okay. Did Deoxys run... T Does Deoxys have two Senzus? Or is he running the... I don't know. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Wait for it. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Final... Final explosion now. I think someone went for the grab again. No, they didn't. Okay. <laughs> His face then. Easy. Just absolutely easy. Because we had a full team and no one was running Gigantic Raw. I, sh I think I probably would have done a little bit more damage. Maybe. We'll have to wait and see. I forget how many contribution points I got just. Or in the first run. But from the second run we got... Okay, just under. So, probably 117,000 damage. At, uh... No, um, yeah, about that, actually, I'd say, in total. For some, and for some reason, I still don't have the Z rank on this specific mission. I think I'll do on the normal, non-light one. But So that's something to do if I ever really want to Z rank it. Again, as of right now, there's no reason to. I just like doing it because of whatever. Anyway, let's see how many points we've got on the scoreboard before we wrap up the video. Hey, it's me, Gogeta. Almost as cool as Vegito. Get mad in the comments. <laughs> oh, dude, hurry up. Like, I'm just... So, the next-gen version of Xenoverse 2, I think, what's the release date? It's the 24th or 26th of May. It's in, like, four, I think, four weeks tomorrow. It's on a Friday. I've had to my earphones out, so I can't hear Bournemouth yapping. Uh, so, I do apologize uh, if, if that's uh, loud or what have you. But this time, you'll be able to play with people cross-gen, cross so PS4 to PS5, regardless of which version, not cross-platform. Don't expect Xenoverse 2 to ever have cross-platform, by the way. And even if he does, I probably would never do it. I'd just stick to PlayStation, in my opinion. Um, but if you can play with people online from PS4 to PS5 and vice versa, uh, vice versa on the different versions, oh, 131,000. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, then it makes me wonder, well, is the loading time still going to be like slow, like as slow on the PS4? Because if it's online, like you're going to have to wait, right? And it doesn't matter. Anyway, 131,072 points. Thank you all ever so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Absolutely do this raid. You never know if there'll be a giant grey tape awoken added and this super might be useful for that. I don't know. Thank you all for watching. More videos on the screen right now. And I'll see you on one of these videos in just a moment.